When you see yourself in the mirror, you're gonna be like, who is this person? I wanna get to know that person. Hi, I'm Carrie Scott, the founder of the Soul Selves Framework. And we are going into my closet to do a little hanger management. This is where we're going to look at each item of clothing and the thoughts that they represent. Be sure to catch the next episode of Hanger Management by liking this episode and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Have you heard of this term, dopamine dressing? So I just came across this the other day, but I realized it's something that I have sort of intuitively been working towards as I spend more and more time enjoying time in my closet, playing in my closet. I absolutely love spending time in my closet. I find it to be one of the most joyful experiences and I realize it sort of takes me back to when I was a, a young girl and I just I just loved getting dressed. I love playing in my closet and so as I revive that in my adult life I am reconnecting with that inner child and together we just have so much fun and, and that's what dopamine dressing is all about is dressing purely for your own happiness. So what are the best five tips that I've come across for dopamine dressing? Well, one, it's not always all about color. I mean, it can be all about color and I absolutely love pulling more and more color into my wardrobe every day if possible, but it isn't always about color. Sometimes we have different emotions, different reactions and different responses or or the colors that we are drawn towards there's also colors that can repel us right so how does a color influence our mood and we just have to be you know totally conscientious of that as we're as we're making these choices and some colors like i'm really drawn to the really super bright like neon colors right now and of course the like bright bright hot pink is kind of a staple in my closet right now but that might be a color that completely offends you and so that's not gonna increase the dopamine production in your mind when you put it on you may be drawn to more neutral colors and those give you sort of a sense of peace and calm and so those are the colors that you're going to be drawn towards and those are the colors that you want to incorporate in your day-to-day -day wear and maybe you'll throw in a pop of color here or there and as you get more experienced and more comfortable with this idea of dopamine dressing you may want to include more and more color as well uh, tip number two dress with all of your senses all five of your senses so we talked about color we talked about sight and things that change our mood when we see them but also think about touch Obviously, one of the most important things about getting dressed, whether it's dopamine dressing or just getting dressed in general, is how comfortable is the item of clothing that you're wearing. So be totally honest with yourself because I think, I think we lie to ourselves about our comfort levels and we tend to tolerate things, particularly underwear, that we shouldn't have to tolerate. And so when you try something on, just get a sense, a really clear sense of how it feels. You know, is it comfortable in the way that it fits? Is it is it too short? You know, is it making you feel cold? <laughs> Something like that. If you're gonna go climb in the car and head into town when you sit in your seat, is your, you know, are your kidneys gonna be cold? That's, that's not comfortable. And you know, is it scratchy? Is it soft? And then, and then really think about those items of clothing that like have that, completely sensual or emotional touch to them you know like you're really worn in jeans or that that boyfriend t-shirt that's been washed and worn and loved so much that when you put it on it just feels like coming home then think about scents how can you incorporate smells into what you're wearing like for me i have these earrings that i bought and they are naturally smoked or naturally cured 
moose hide and they have this absolutely beautiful sort of smoky aroma and when I wear them it's a really sensual experience that provides me an immense amount of pleasure when I when I wear them and so take into consideration all of the different scents that you can encounter in your closet and in your accessories and, and then even in the scents that you're adding to yourself whether it's being um, essential oils or perfumes you can get essential oil carrying bracelets and and other kind of accessories that just bring that extra bit of enjoyment and joy and and healing to whatever it is that you decide to wear then there's sound, which is such an interesting thing to consider. And for me, like such a good example is wearing corduroy. There's that sound of the corduroy rubbing together, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of corduroy. And again, that's a sensual touch, but there's also the sound element. Whereas my daughter the other day said, mama, I don't like wearing my corduroy pants. They're too loud when I walk. And so for some people, certain sounds are enjoyable for other people. Certain sounds are sort of a, a repellent, right? So keep that in mind. What sounds work for you? Taste. I don't actually know how you incorporate taste into dopamine dressing yet, but I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to let you know when I figure it out. <laughs> Tip number three, practice dopamine dressing at home. So if you're introducing new colors, new styles, new silhouettes, and you're not feeling entirely confident busting them out into day-to-day -day life, then just get used to wearing them at home. Get used to seeing yourself in the mirror and having those positive feelings and that dopamine flowing uh, before you you know, bring it out into the real world. One of the suggestions that I read that I thought was really super smart was to plan an event with friends where you get dressed up and then you go out in this new dopamine dressing style and you're there with all of your friends to support you and just reinforce that, that new dopamine direction that you're heading into. Fourth tip for dopamine dressing, play around with different silhouettes. It's, it's so surprising what you find actually works for your body. And we kind of get locked into this mindset of what we think looks good on us and we get sort of closed off to op being open to new ideas. Uh, there's often this sort of suggestion that when you go shopping, go shopping with someone else and and be open to what they suggest for you. And it's surprising what you find that you never would have considered on your own that actually really, really works for who you are. And there's so many different sort of silhouettes and shapes and so much exploration we can do with you know the range of our clothing by combining things that we never would think about in our in our own closet that unleashes this whole new experience within us. And, and the more we try things on and find out what we don't like, the easier it gets to be able to find out what we do like, right? We're practicing discernment in the way that we're dressing. And the, the more we sort of dial in what we don't like, then we really get clear on what we, what we do like and where that dopamine starts to flow. And so when you, when you get to a point where you're, you're getting closer and closer and closer to the, the style and the silhouette and the colors and the feel and the textures that really turn you on. When you see yourself in the mirror, you're going to be like, who is this person? I want to get to know that person more, you know, and tell me more about that person. And, and that's when we really dial it into those good emotions and those good chemicals that are flowing through our system. And lastly, the fifth tip for dopamine dressing is successories. And I take no credit for that term, successories. That's all Abigail Rebecca, my amazing 
visibility coach. She has planted this seed within me and I have just like, it, it's blossomed into this beautiful, like, what would you call it? Like a, a beautiful plum tree, a beautiful flowering plum tree where I, whenever I go out now, I'm looking for accessories to bring home to add to my collection. And this toque definitely was one of those moments when I saw it, I'm like, oh, I have to, I have to have that. It's so bright, it's so fun. And I, I know when I wear it, I'm gonna feel great. I can't really see it on myself when I'm out and about, but other people are gonna see me. Other people are gonna notice me because of my toque. And they're gonna comment and say, I love how brightly you're dressed or something to that effect. And then it opens a window for conversation, right? So it's an invitation for me to introduce myself or to have some sort of conversation and get to know this person a little bit better. It's, it's a point of connection. And so accessories can be jewelry, earrings, sweaters, I mean, my pants, toques, Often I see uh, people doing their nails, right? And so anything um, that brings attention to you that somebody's gonna notice and compliment you on, then it opens up this beautiful invitation for connection. And that is the essence of successories. Awareness looks good on you.